Hello again, and as promised, in this video, I'm going to go over what is collagen. That is the question, and hopefully through this well-written article that I have discovered and found online, we can answer that question. Um, in basically a nutshell, collagen is something that your body um, creates and manufactures. You need collagen in order to survive. If you didn't have collagen, you, would, you wouldn't be able to live. You'd die. Um, so, basically, collagen is the building blocks that make up all proteins, including collagen, are called amino acids. An essential amino acid is one your body cannot make, so you have to get it from food or dietary supplements. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body and is a key constituent of all connective tissue. Collagen provides the infrastructure of the musculoskeletal system essential for mobility. The intake of collagen ensures the cohesion, elasticity, and regeneration of skin, hair, tendon, cartilage, bones, and joints. Collagen is a protein made up of amino acids, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, and arginine. The composition of collagen is considered unique given its high hydroxyproline content. If you lack the amino acids that combine to form collagen, your body cells can't produce enough of it. Threonine is an essential amino acid for collagen production. Collagen is an important building block for the skin. It makes up to 30% of the protein of the living body and 70% of the protein that makes up skin. Collagen ensues the cohesion, elasticity, and regeneration of skin. Skin tissue is composed of various molecules, some of which are amino acids. And these amino acids are essential for maintaining an even skin structure and thus healthy skin. The dermis, which provides the foundation for the skin, is closely involved in the skin's elasticity and flexibility. Collagen is the main component of the dermis. Maintaining the amount of collagen is the key to beautiful skin. Glycine, proline, alanine, and hydroxyproline are the main constituents of collagen. Replenishing these constituent amino acids appears to be needed to maintain the amount of collagen at healthy levels. Ligaments are another type of connective tissue that attach two bones and consequently hold the joints together. Tendons that attach two bones and consequently hold the joints together. Tendons are similar but different type of tissue that attach the muscles to the bones. All of these tissues, the bones, ligaments, tendons, and the skeletal muscles themselves are made up of proteins. The most predominant protein is collagen. Collagen is vital for strengthening blood vessels and giving skin its elasticity and strength. The degradation of collagen causes wrinkles and other skin issues. As such, collagen is one of the most popular supplements because of its skin healing properties. Collagen has very good tensile strength. It is one of the long fibrous structural proteins that give cells structure from the outside, as well as supporting the majority of the body's tissues. Collagen is necessary for conserving the usefulness of skin and attenuating wrinkles. It is also essential for the elasticity of the connective tissue of the skin, allowing it to expand and contract without damaging any tissues. When we get older, the production of collagen begins to slow down, and cell structures start losing their strength. As a result, skin starts to become fragile, less elastic, and wrinkles start to set in. In addition, hair starts losing its color, joints lose their flexibility, and bone quality begins deteriorating. <clears throat> Individuals seek out ways to stimulate the production of collagen when wrinkles start to show. Even though your body may not produce the same levels of collagen as it once did, stimulating your collagen production has the potential to reverse some signs of aging. Since our collagen protein gelatin is denatured collagen, it might just improve your body's own collagen levels. Threonin is one of the essential amino acids in collagen peptides. Threonin supports cardiovascular, liver, central nervous, and immune system function. Threonine aids in the synthesis of glycine and serine, two amino acids that help the production of collagen, elastin, and muscle tissue. Threonine helps build strong bones and tooth enamel. It also speeds up wound healing after injury by boosting the immune system. Threonine combines with the amino acid aspartic acid and methionine to help liver digest fats and fatty acids, which reduces accumulation of fat in the liver. Sorry if I didn't pronounce some of the amino acids correctly, um, but this is basically, in a nutshell, what collagen is, why it's so important, 
and how our body manufactures uh, collagen. And there's different types of collagen. There's type 1, there's type 2, there's type 3, type 4, type 5, and so on. And they all serve a very important uh, function in the human body. Now, when you're young, your body has a fast repairing um, collagen called type 3 collagen, which is mostly abundant in the skin of young people. And as you get older, it starts replacing itself as type 1 collagen. Um, and those type 1 and type 3 are very important when it comes to creating healthy skin because collagen is like the, the glue that holds your skin together. It's what gives it its elasticity, its firmness, its plumpness. It's what gives it that shine. You know, these are all important parts of collagen. And collagen is important in your hair, and like I've read here, in so many parts of your body. Now, as it talks about here, collagen is protein made up of amino acids, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, and arginine. Okay. These are amino acids that will that you get from consuming protein. Um, so when you eat an egg, when you eat a piece of fish, when you eat a piece of chicken or a piece of beef or some nuts or seeds or what have you, your body then, in, the, in our last video when he talked about protein, your digestive juices break that stuff down and it creates amino acids. And then these amino acids, these specific amino acids, then go to manufacture the different types of collagen that are needed in the body. So... Now that we understand how collagen is made, we can now better understand what we have to do in order to have healthier collagen levels in our body and to keep our body maintaining um, at a high level. What we need to do, instead of relying on these supplements, which at you know first glance might seem like, oh, I can pay some money, I can take a scoop of this powder, it's got all my amino acids in there, and it'll increase my collagen levels. But it comes with a you know, a cost. I am a firm believer that we should always try to get our nutrients from the food that we eat and not really rely on these isolated um, nutrients because I think of getting your amino acids from the food is much more bioavailable, much more effective at boosting your collagen levels than taking it in a supplement form because we don't, I don't think the scientists know um, really what goes on when you take certain amino acids or you take any nutrients, you isolate them from the foods and you put them in a powder or a pill and then you take them. I don't think the body was ever designed to take in food and nutrition like that. I think it's always better to take the whole food because it comes combined as synergistic things are all working together to help support the body like it should and that's what's natural. You know, the, the animals outside are healthy, they look good, you know, and they don't rely on... Um, you know, taking isolated nutrients or amino acids in order to support their body. Most of those supplements are targeted for people and to anti-aging with promises that they'll totally reverse their wrinkles and all that stuff. And I think it's, it's simpler, it's, it's way simpler, and it's just that you need to understand the importance of eating a well-balanced diet, and you have to make sure that you get enough protein or these amino acids in your diet every day. And that means not going on restrictive diets, not limiting yourself to certain food groups and things like that, not getting caught up in all the dietary dogma out there, but understanding the importance of seeking out um, nutrients and giving them to the body so that then the body can then finally manufacture <laughs> collagen. And uh, so essentially, if you want to, if you want to look young, if you want to have good health, the beauty starts from the inside out, not the outside in. And so all these skin creams and things that promise that are going to make you healthy, you know, they're really stealing your money at best. Even if they give you a 5 or 10% noticeable increase in your skin, is it really worth it spending all that money on that? I don't think so. And so the truth of the matter is, is that we should supply our body with high quality forms of protein so that our body can break them down into the amino acids so that our body can then manufacture collagen. And with that, if you have any questions or if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.